Wow, lots and lots of power right there. Really good stuff. In 2016 and before that, she did a double twist. That was only a full twist, but by that ball right there, easy can get another full twist around. Yeah, and she has been doing that in training, but you know, as, as we mentioned, it's a long journey. It is a long process, Terry, from here then to the national championships, then the Olympic trials, and of course, the Olympics later this year. But take a look, Tim, as you mentioned, she gets so high up in the air and her body position perfect, hips open, stretched. Right in the middle, Nastia on that landing too. Doesn't have, so what she's missing out on not doing that full twist is eight tenths of a point in, in a bump of the start value. Youngest member of that U.S. team in Rio. Part of the gold medal effort. Silver medal on beam at the Olympics. So competing in two of the events here that not on bars or on floor in Indy this week. Guys, you think that's part of the plan or is that an adjustment once she got here? Well, it, the one thing is if you did four events at this competition and you don't reach the 52 score, you cannot petition. So by doing only two or three events, you have the ability to put in a petition. I would say that she did a good enough job on vault. She showed a lot of potential, could do a double twist on it. And this routine right here, you know, very valuable. As you said, you know, she's silver medalist in the, at the last Olympics. And you're talking in order to make the U.S. championships. Absolutely, to move on to the next leg. And I was about to say that was one of the best pike fronts I've seen her do really locked legs on that, taking the risk and it not working on that one. Just snapped back, though, after that fall and has looked rock solid. You know, that's what she has always done so well, just so calm, so cool, collected, especially on the balance beam where it's that's not always an easy task. But she has, you know, just great fight in her, able to save things that others typically couldn't. Just a back chalk dismount. Did do a double at the Winter Cup. I don't know. Got that score in a moment. MJ Frazier, by the way, on vault 13.95. And Grace McCallum, who we saw on uneven bars, 13.2. Hmm. Yeah, Lori is not accustomed to coming off the balance beam. So what makes this so much more difficult is watch her legs. She won't bend them. They'll be straight. Oh, no. Looking at the dismount. Sorry, I thought we were going to look at that fall on the front flip. Look at her legs. They're straight as opposed to tucked. And just couldn't, couldn't find enough beam underneath her feet. You see her left foot right there just... And then her right foot also. But you know what, right there, that is exactly what a coach tries to teach every single athlete, fight for it no matter what. And of course she did come off of the balance beam, but that's what you want to see. You know, so often, whether it's in practice or competitions, you see some of these athletes just Jump pop off, off yep. if they're even just the slightest bit off. So of course didn't end the way that she was hoping to, but that fight was tremendous. Big picture, what does it mean for those chances? Well, it's going to be up to that selection committee because from what I've heard, she does, you know, with coming in, doing only two events, she knew 
to move on to the U.S. Championship, she was going to have to file a petition. So it's going to become come up to those, that three-person athlete selection committee. And as an athlete, you hate to have it in the hands of someone. She had planned on that coming in, just doing the two events, but you'd love to go there with an argument. Absolutely, and she, she definitely hurt herself with that routine right there. And the difficulty, the execution, 12.2, the disappointing number, the balance beam for Lori Hernandez.